wanted to uh, really presence us to the opportunity for women in strategic decision making and have an opportunity to reflect on what's been happening in the last couple of weeks. And I don't mean this to be a comprehensive view at all, just a few of the things that have passed across my desk that I'm going to call the wisdom wrap. So uh, the wisdom wrap for 14 July, looking at the past few weeks, looks like this. So we saw the appointment in this fortnight of Catherine Jones to the Attorney General Department Secretary role, so the Commonwealth Attorney General's Department. Notably, Catherine is the first female secretary in the 120 year history of the Commonwealth Attorney General's Department. So it's quite remarkable and um, certainly um, uh, a very capable individual and well celebrated individual walking and stepping into that role. Um, similarly, we saw announcement that Catherine Campbell would be moving from the head of Department of uh, Social Services across to the Secretary DFAT. Uh, again, another significant uh, uh, appointment of a female into a secretary role. And of course, she'll be replacing Frances Adamson, who was the first female DFAT secretary and who is heading across to be the governor for South Australia. So I just think it's useful for us. Uh, one of the comments we know from previous sessions was to highlight where things are um, going well. And so I'm really interested in kind of noting some of these. Um, similarly, we don't want to uh, gloss over those things where we've got more work to do. So in this fortnight, the Australian Institute of Company Directors also released its quarterly gender diversity report. And I'm just going to read a little bit of that here just to give us a bit of a presence of what the landscape for strategic decision making and, and women's opportunity looks like currently. So board appointments across the ASX in 2021 have been largely gender balanced with women comprising 48% of ASX 200 appointments, 47.6% of ASX 300 and 46.5 across the all awards. But the AICD in its report also noted that the proportion of female directors in the ASX 200 con continues to climb and it reaches 33.6% at the end of May. So that's the number of female directors across those ASX 200. However, women currently occupying only 21 of the 200 chair positions, so 10%. So the AICD is urging boards to ensure diversity is a major consideration in all leadership decisions. So just thought that's a useful thing for us to have uh, presence. And I'm really interested in these kinds of happenings and what they tell us about our world and where we can impact. Um, and the final thing I'd like to note is that our guest from last fortnight, Dr. Susan McGinty, penned a really neat article after her session with us. And uh, she, I'm going to just check it here. So we need gender balanced or majority female contributions to overcome barriers to women's participation in decision making. Um, she reflected on both the conversation we had and built on that further. So I really encourage you to have a read of that. And what I'm going to do is after this session, when I send around the recording to participants and those who couldn't um, join us today, I'm also going to include some links to some of those um, articles. And given that this is a brand new um, component of Wisdom Wednesdays, I'd really like to invite you all to keep me up to date with things that you're seeing out there. So I'm interested in um, things like appointments that we talked about, uh, gaps, opportunities, barriers, research, uh, anything that you're coming across that you think uh, is worthy of a mention here and something that we should highlight. So uh, please keep me informed of those things as we go.